Um, you know, just kind of continue. I practice like kind of how we do any week, you know what I mean? Just no matter what happens, I'm going to do this kind of same work in the bullpen. It's always light before Friday. Uh, it's kind of just what we do because we could both pitch Friday. Only one of us could pitch Friday, you know what I mean? It just depends. So I'm just kind of getting ready, treating it like a normal week. Have you looked at Baylor, though? I know Coral said you guys have just been kind of looking at film of everybody in your region. Is Baylor a team that you're studying a lot of fun? Um, no, not necessarily. I think you have to look at everybody uh, equally. Um, I know that, you know, ba Baylor is a good team, but we have to beat Fordham first to even potentially play Baylor. So um, once we do that, then then you look at, you know, you obviously learn about everybody in your regional, but you have to you have to beat the first team you're playing, which is Fordham. So, um and then you go from there. But I think that, you know, hitting wise, they're kind of looking at a little bit of everybody. And, you know, pitching wise, um, we, you know, we more like talk about everybody and occasionally watch film on hitters. But more kind of um, with Coach or Janelle calling, they kind of know what to call based on the hitters that they've looked into. Your seniors haven't lost a game in regionals. Coach White's record goes even further back than that. Is that something you guys shy away from? Or are you you recognize it and you say, let's keep this going. Exactly, yeah, I would say we recognize it and definitely say keep this going. And, you know, um, I say try to, you know, when you play regional, uh, just get, let's go in and get the job done. You know what I mean? Let's go in, let's win the first game. Um, let's only have to play three and work from there, you know? I think that's important uh, to recognize that, you know, three games and you win the regional. So, uh, but start with one at a time. So I think definitely just kind of be aggressive, not shy away from that, not kind of feel like we have something to lose. We have we have an advantage, if anything, you know, we're on our own field and that's pretty exciting. And we get to sleep on our own beds, didn't have to fly, didn't have to drive, um, you know what I mean? Get to eat at all our own places, kind of do our own thing. So I would say I look at it more from that kind of aspect than uh, we have something to lose. Against Utah, Jenna had a, a really big hit and also made a nice catch while colliding in at first base. When did you know she was back after her injury? I think that uh, you know she's always a, been a, a great player and a great asset to the team. You know, asset to this team. I think that she you know had to sit out that little bit of time uh, because of injury. But I feel like you know I would say the first week and she just needed to settle back in. But I feel like you know with her on the field, just her presence, she's been back. And um, even here in the dugout, I think. You knew we all knew that that injury wasn't gonna uh, stop her mm -hmm. from you know playing, from giving her best, uh, and getting back uh, to to Jenna. So I think that I would I would say that I didn't really necessarily ever see her leave. Just kind of maybe uh, uh, step away for a sec. <laughs> In that moment, I mean, what was your emotions? I mean, moment because. You know, until she went to the hospital, they didn't know if her season was over. Or yeah, it was kind of more like shock, like for some reason, because I didn't, I wasn't looking at her hitting. I was um, doing something else, and I didn't really see it initially. So it was kind of like shock. But in my mind, I was like, oh shoot, you know, I know that it's bad, but like I didn't realize the severity. I didn't realize the impact it really was until um, you know, we saw her and talked to her and heard more of the extent of it, but. It was kind of like at first I, I wasn't really sure uh, how bad it was. I kind of was like more of like a positive light, like she'll be fine, she'll be good to go, like I bet you she'll be back next week, you know. And then, you know, we saw her and stuff and it was kind of like, you know, she's, she got hit hard. Like, it's kind of like by not seeing it, I wasn't really sure what the impact of it was, you know what I mean? Like, and when she walked in, it was like her nose was bleeding, but no, nothing had really swelled. So, um, yeah, I think at first I just was like very optimistic. And you know, and she did recover really fast, so I wasn't too far from optimistic. I guess uh, maybe I ex wanted her back a little sooner than she was able to be, but um, I felt like she, uh, I felt like yeah, it was it was not, it was a little worse than I first thought about, first envisioned.